What is going on you guys? Warrior Studios here and today I am back with another Lego Portal 2 mock uh, as you can see before you. Uh, this one didn't take me near as long as the last one I think. I've worked over it gradually for about a week now and it's finally finished. Uh, the theme for this mock was to have a portal that leads to two different places so here is Aperture in its ruined state, and then here is a place, I guess, that's based off of the old Aperture that you visit in the game. We'll get to that in a second, but real quick, uh, just disregard this little area down there. That's for part, uh, cough cough parts. Uh, just wanted to say some down here. But let's get into some of the details. Taking a closer look at some of these details, you know, we just have a lot of plant life to represent the overgrown aesthetic that Portal 2 had for the beginning parts of the game. You know, we just had these little bushes and shrubbery and these vines growing on the floor. You can see those vines a little bit better if I take that out. Uh, this bush thing right here, if you take that out, uh, you can see some just destroyed stuff. There is, if I just bring my camera up, uh, some plants on the wall over here. This wall ha is like missing, I guess, not removed. Missing uh, some of the wall paneling. Uh, down here we just have another little plant and a heavy weighted button here that's been collapsed on, I guess, some stuff is just laying on top of the button, kind of. You can see just some... It's supposed to represent like maybe some ceiling or some of the wall that's fallen apart over the uh, amount of time it's been uh, not taken care of this place. Here you can see the management rail that Wheatley can connect to. It's not the best Wheatley connection, but I wanted something small and out of the way to hold them up there, and this was the best way to do that, in my opinion. I mean, I'm sure there's better things out there, so yeah. You can see, of course, front and center, the portal, the blue portal here. Uh, I'm not too happy with how I had to uh, connect it up here. I'm not happy with right there. But I couldn't think of any other way to do it uh, with the way I've built this. So we'll just, that's what it is for now. Uh, so that is the first side. We'll take a closer look at all these characters later on. The other side is much, uh, has a lot more room in it because this whole area is emptied. Uh, so this brown is supposed to represent kind of the, the icky water stuff that if you've fallen in the game, you know, oh no, you're dead. Uh, just a little uh, power cord that runs from top to bottom. You can see it's still submerged in that gooey water. Uh, these beams with the little concrete thing I noticed in the game. So beams holding the uh, gel pipe up here. See so this gel pipe that I built. It's supposed to represent the gel flow that you can find in the old aperture. Uh, just those, yeah, just very simple. This side doesn't have a lot of detail because I thought, well, it doesn't necessarily need it. It is a little bland now that I've had so much detail on this side back here, but yeah. Little catwalk here with these railings, you know, so she can, Shell can walk up, or I guess any Aperture employee. And of course, front and center is the orange portal, which you can see up in there, uh, with its white uh, kind of base because you can't shoot on, you can't shoot portals on anything that's not the white moon rock surface in the game. So I remember to include that. Yay! So that pretty much does it for the other side just like that. Right here we have the Chell minifigure. Uh, I've shown her multiple times across my portal videos. Um, this time she does in hand have the portal gun which looks extremely nice. I love that piece. It is kind of rubbery uh, so keep that in mind uh, if you're ever playing around with this thing. I'm um, sorry my camera's not focusing too well. Um, you can see she has the Aperture logo on her tank top, I guess that, that is, and uh, the orange pants with the white long fall boots, a decent printing for her face that does feature a double-sided print, 
So you can change your expression from a kind of an angry expression to just a neutral expression, which I do like having to have that neutral expression for, you know, whatever purposes. Here we have the defective turret, which this is a custom build, and it follows the same building, uh, whatever, parameters, whatever, as my normal, uh, little turret thing here, except the colors have been swapped and these pieces are vents instead of the tiles that are seen on the normal portal drone. Uh, turret, sorry, not drone. Don't kill me. Uh, I have replaced, uh, in some of my older videos, the eyes were studs. I have replaced them with the uh, studs that don't have the uh, bumps on them, the, uh, I guess, stud connection, uh, just the flat tile studs to make it look a little cleaner. Uh, you can see the back, nothing too special there. You got your antenna up there. Pretty, pretty generic and basic. Let me, let me know in the comments down below if you guys want a how-to video on some of these characters. Just, just let me know, yeah? Alright, and that is the defective turret. This is Wheatley right here. Um, just giving you, he can't spin on this little thing, he can't hook on there. Uh, just to give you a little, uh, show you from all angles of him. Uh, it's a very simple build. Uh, it just uses, I'll show you on the insides like that. Uh, once again, let me know if you want a how-to video. Um, this piece right here was found in a Lego set, Eris' Eagle Interceptor. And that is what I used for the eye. That's not a special print or anything like that. It's just a sticker on a flat tile. Um, you know, you can pose these eyebrows. You can be like super surprised or kind of, I don't know, scared or sad. I don't know. Uh, yeah, that's Wheatley. It's a pretty simple build and just take that off to attach whatever him to the management rail thingamaboo. So, yeah, that's Wheatley. And this, of course, is a custom build. Uh, I did not get instructions for it. This came out of my own mind. Which, once again, do you guys want a tutorial video on how to build some of these guys? Well, thank you guys all for viewing this video. Let me know if you want a tutorial video on how to build some of these characters. I would again like to say, this is not based on any particular scene in Portal. This is just a little, uh, kind of a vignette of some of the highlights I believed in Portal and just kind of make this idea of the Portal coming through both sides of the mock, which I think turned out pretty decent, uh, for the small parts I had on hand, uh, at the time. Uh... I think that's about it. Thank you guys all very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like down below. I appreciate it, and it greatly helps me out. Uh, tutorial video, if you want it, let me know in the comments down below. And if you're uh, new here, uh, hit the bell icon for some notifications. I guess you don't have to be new here, necessarily. Dang it, I'm talking again. And I will see you guys in the next video. So long for now. I'm talking with my hands.